My name is Craig Sutton. I'm a digital marketer um, with a background in sales and management. Um, I grew up in a small town called Sault Ste. Marie in uh, northern Ontario, Canada, on the northern Michigan border, uh, just a little town. Now I live in Florida with my very supportive wife and uh, two young girls. And um, you know, I used to play football in college and now uh, to stay in shape, I try to stay in shape by doing a lot of running and doing a lot of push-ups. You know, you gotta keep that glow going for yourself. I first saw The Last Dragon when I was about nine or 10 years old. And uh, right from seeing the commercial, not even the movie, but the commercial, when you see Bruce Leroy doing the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I've been a fan since that. I knew this is a movie I'm gonna like, and this, this is a hero that I really admired. What I liked about the movie, what made me get so into it was um, I mixed black and white. My dad is from uh, Guyana, part of the Caribbean, and my mother is Canadian. Um, I grew up in a small town. Uh, there weren't that many black people around, and I was just starting to get into, like really getting into culture and um, learning about myself. And uh, for the first time, I saw somebody that looked like me in an action hero movie you know, positive role. And uh, I don't think I even realized it at the time, but I was of course just attracted to that. Seeing the movie, it, it was amazing. Um, and of course I'm a very big fan, uh, so much so that I started a web page going for over 10 years now called the last dragon tribute.com. And I'm the last glow on social media. We work hard to, uh, we're dedicated to keeping the memory of The Last Dragon alive um, and reminiscing about it uh, because I know it means so much to so many people for, for many different reasons, not just, you know, my reasons. Even back in high school in the 90s, uh, in my uh, yearbook, when you write in, you know, beside your grad photo, like what your ambition is and that sort of thing, I stated my ambition as to find Bruce Leroy because back then, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, so it felt like Bruce Leroy was gone, and uh, I needed to find him. So when the internet came around and started getting popular, um, I was on there searching for Leroy, uh, trying to find the master, and uh, eventually I did. Not only found him, but actually became friends with Tymok, the, the man who plays Bruce Leroy himself. And through the website, I've worked with Sony to promote the Last Dragon 30th Anniversary Blu-ray. I've worked with the Urban Action Showcase and other conventions like uh, the Deluxe Expo um, to promote and to uh, moderate and host cast panels and reunions. It's more than I could have ever imagined as a kid. And, uh, you know, it's my wildest dreams. And now I get to be a part of this animated series, the sequel to The Last Dragon. So... Very excited to be a part of all of this. I first heard about the Rise of the Last Dragon animated series um, through either YouTube or an Instagram post. Um, I saw the animation. I had no idea who was be behind it, but I loved it immediately. I saw that this project captured the essence, it captured you know, what we love or what I love about the Last Dragon. I could see it clear as day. I never dreamed I'd be a part of it. I just wanted to help make it happen. And uh, I was helping to share the word, spread it out, repost, and, and get the word out there to make this project happen. Uh, and now I'm a part of it, so it's pretty amazing. After seeing how great this was and helping to spread the word for a few years, I, at some point I reached out to Datrix and said, Hey, if you've got a role for me, I would I would love it. And he's like, Yeah, you've already got one. Don't worry about it. I was like, Really? I didn't expect that kind of response. And this is my first time working uh, on a voiceover project like this, and uh, really excited about it. Um, so much so that I think I'm going to get more into this voice acting, voiceover type of stuff. And it's it's been a lot of fun. And um, of course, I'm very excited to be working on a project that has to do with the Last Dragon. Uh, the Last Dragon is by far my favorite movie. 
I am voicing Jeff Beacon, who's a news reporter, investigative news reporter. There has been a strange series of events going on throughout the bustling city. Theater riots leading to multiple injuries of everyday moviegoers. Vandalism of local businesses by local gangs. As well as the 7th Heaven television studio hijacking that led to the arrest of the self-proclaimed video game king, inventor, and entertainment mogul, Eddie Arcadia. And for me, uh, I think of uh, Trevor Collins from, uh, I don't know if you remember him from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was the news reporter that was um, engaged to Hillary. Datrix also put in my mind that he was looking for a role for me. And I told him, oh, hey, I, you know, I'm Canadian, so I have kind of like a nondescript accent, like a news reporter. And he's like, oh, perfect. You can be a news reporter. <laughs> so that's how it happened. The sky's the limit for this project. With the talent on board, uh, with Datrix and his wife uh, leading the charge, um, you know, he's been dreaming up these scripts since he was a kid, since he first saw the movie, and uh, he's been working on them for that long. So years and years, he's been thinking about what happens to Leroy and Shonuff and the gang and everybody after The Last Dragon, and now he's, he's bringing that to fruition, and it's beautiful to see. And... Um, I just want to see this happen. I, I even just for myself to watch, I want to see it. But, you know, hopefully uh, other people in the studio see the beauty of what's being made here and it gets picked up by uh, a Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus or whoever it may be. You know, obviously, Sony should be involved. So, you know, they are the original owners of the rights of The Last Dragon. So I just really hope this gets picked up. But in the end, I just want to see it. I want to see it for myself. Uh, sequel to The Last Dragon, animated form. I want to see it. Don't you? <laughs> Oh, yeah.